it has lots of different names. One of them is Ben's ulcer, where it was first discovered in Victoria, but it's also called the Brulee ulcer and, and the Daintree ulcer. It's an infection caused by a bacteria called Mycobacterium ulcerans. Um, this bacteria is in the same family as tuberculosis and leprosy. It usually presents uh, as, a, as a small lesion, looks a little bit like an insect bite, and then if it gets left for longer, it can get larger and, and cause ulcers um, and larger lesions. So look, we're definitely seeing an increase in the number of the cases. So we sort of first started to notice it here in about 2011, 2012, and it sort of gradually was increasing up until about 2015. And since then, there's been a, a massive increase in the number of cases. Um, already this year, we've had 295 cases compared to 277 in total last year. So there's definitely an increase. And we're seeing lots of patients each week in our infectious diseases clinic with this infection. Um, and the GPs are getting very good at recognising and re referring patients in. But early diagnosis is key. So if you have an ulcer that's not getting better, you need to sort of see your GP as soon as possible and ask them to do a special test for the, um, the band cell ulcer. Look, unfortunately, we still don't know exactly what the cause is, but we think there's sort of a link with mosquitoes. So our, our best advice at the moment is if you are outside in the summer months to cover up as much as possible and to apply mosquito repellent. Um, and if you are gardening and you get a sort of a cut or a scratch to go inside and wash your, um, the area with soap and water as soon as possible to try and wash off any of the bacteria. I know this infection gets reported in the media as a, as a flesh eating bug, but it is very sort of slowly progressing and in other increasing cases the local GPs are much better at diagnosing it so if it is diagnosed early often when it's small it heals up quite quickly and, and no surgery is required.